And that'll be cast after the on time side. But can the sun shine for Chris Boulder and his boys? Looking for three points here in the northeast. And they're going to have to do it this afternoon without Tom Corner and Lewis Dennison. Corner still injured. Dennison on a personal commitment. But back in the side this afternoon, number 14, Josh Morrill. Good to see him back in a Farabee shirt. Throwing, taking quickly, finds Tarbaton. Tarbaton puts the cross in. It's cleared away by the Dons defence. Going to come as far as Ainsley. And his shot goes high over the bar, but it just set in his uh, sights in. Can he do better? Cadman. Free kick swung into the air. It's cleared away. He's going to drop to Jack Walters, who hits the post. It's the closest Farabee have come to a goal. Jack Walters, very unlucky there. Not to hit the target. Ferry try and build again from the back. Long ball forward looking for Josh Whiteley. Out on that right hand side. And Dunstan. Still under pressure by Ferriby. But the throw in goes the home team's way. And ball back in the Dunstan defence. Looking to play it long. Out to Farabee's right hand side. It's going to break now onto the left. Going to try and the, hit the cross in. Roma blocks it. Second opportunity. There goes Robinson. And Robinson has scored for the home team. 42 minutes on the clock. And Dunstan into the lead. Been a real war of attrition this first half with few chances. You see the chance. For the first cross blocked by Dominic Roma. Second bite of the cherry and it's stood up. And David Robinson comes in unchallenged to head past Ben Bottomley to put the home side into the lead. Dunstan 1, North Farabee nil. Uh, it's activity down on the bench. Looks like uh, Chris Bowl is going to shuffle his pack. Louis Kirk, another good 60 minutes for Kirky. He's looked absolutely fantastic since coming back. Jock Saka makes his way onto the pitch. And Sam Ainsley's day is also over. And the entertaining Mason Johnson will come on for him. Sure, he'll try and make his impact. And that front three. Still 1-0 here in Tyneside. Free kick to the home side. So launched forward by Ben Bottomley. It's headed down. It's going to be cleared by the defence. Goes as far as Levi Tarbaton. It's brought down by Johnson. Johnson hits the shot and it's in. Well, talk about instant impact. He's only been on the pitch six minutes. And Mason Johnson has got an equaliser. For North Verabee. It's kept alive by Tarbaton. Taken down on the knee. And Johnson, possibly with a little bit of help from the defender. Doesn't matter how they come. It's an equaliser for Verabee. Can they get the much needed three points on the road here in Tyneside? Bearing in mind the last time they got three points in Tyneside was here at Dunstan. Last year. Dunstan UTS won. North Ferriby won. 68 minutes. It's Mason Johnson. So, ball cleared out of the fence. Looks like it's going to go out for a throw in. All kinds of issues in the back four. Headed forward by Cadman's going to break to Johnson. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! That's a magnificent finish by Mason Johnson. He just watched it come down, hit it on the volley. What a superb finish! It was headed forward by Cadman. Just watched it bounce twice, and then hits it on the drop. Off the post and in. And look at the jubilation from the Ferriby fans behind the net. 
They've travelled a long way to see that. And if that wins a game, what a winner that would be from Mason Johnson. Dunstan UTS 1, North Ferriby 2. And the man of the moment is Mason Johnson. Dunstan looking for that equaliser. It's going to break. Ferriby going to try and clear the lines. Long ball. Into the heart of the Dunstan half. Goes out for a throw in. They've got it back with their keeper. They're going to hit it long. Cleared away once again. Ferriby looking for the free key, but not seeming to get it. Dunstan build again. Back out to this left-hand side. Can the defence stay resolute? Well, Dunstan were looking for a... What well, seems like a penalty. I can't see it here in the hand. Bottomley was alive and alert. Makes a decent save. Calms it down. Well, another goal would kill this. Can Ferriby do it? Bottomley lofted high into the sky. It's going to break with Cadman. Now it's Cadman. They're going to take it into the corner. Or is he going to go? He's going to have a go, you know. Still James Cadman. Oh, my goodness. Well, how close do you get without scoring? James Cadman. That would have been the icing on the cake. On what is Les Hare's birthday. He breaks into the area. Hits the cross shot. And it just shaves the outside of the post and goes out. Ferriby finished much the stronger. Can they see this one out and take the three points back to East Yorkshire? So into time added on. Throwing goes forward. Headed on. Johnson lofts it forward. Hopefully that will see the clock wind down. Throwing taken quickly. And I would call that time. So, will we get the whistle? Yes, we will. It's a famous victory on the road for North Ferriby. With two goals by the man of the moment, the impact man, Mason Johnson. So, Chris, the hex finally broke up here in the northeast. A 2 1 win against Dunstan. Yeah, fantastic performance from the lads. And I just thought, you know, especially the second half. It just, it just was evident just what it means to, to the individuals, the the, the the team, the collective effort, you know, to to kind of go through that pain barrier and and um, you know go through them hard yards to to get the victory and you know we said a few things at half time because we knew that they'd have a lot of the ball. They're a fantastic team, by the way. You know they've got some excellent rotations and they pull you about all over, uh, and the cause us problems in the first half and you know we spoke at half time about what we need to do and what we could do better um, and I think you know obviously we uh, we did that to a tee and the game plan worked uh, exceptionally well. I mean, it was a bit of a war of attrition the first half two teams given it Ammer and Tong and it was just a bit of a an error at the back that caused the goal just uh, the loss of the mark uh, loss of the uh, the forward on the on the header. Yeah, I, I think on the balance of play though, they you know deservedly went in front um, and led at half time. I think they were the better team, most certainly. Um, and you know we spoke to the lads what we wanted and what we needed and what we required. And I think uh, second half was there for for everyone to see that we implemented the game plan exceptionally well. And the substitutions that came on for us were outstanding. Um, we've said this before; it's a squad game, but. Uh, when you can drop in the likes of, you know, Fax and, and Mason and Finn and, and they come on and, and they do the job that they do, then, you know, it's, it bodes well for us moving forward. And two exceptional finishes, um, thoroughly deserved from his overall performance from Mace as well. Yeah, I was glad you mentioned Mason. It was a, it was a needed change. I mean, a fantastic, another fantastic hour by Kirky. I thought uh, certain people, Cadders, and Josh Whiteley run with the blood to water this afternoon. But Mason came on, just gave the team a whole, whole new dimension. You just thought, if you get one back, they're going to go and get another. And they were the two classy finishes. Yeah, you know, like I say, it comes from a good press from us as well. And that, that shows uh, myself and Robbo just how, you know, the determination and the energy levels and the mindset of the players second half um, was, was so important for us. And we was on the front foot. Um, and like you said, two two exceptional finishes, and you know, 
their attitudes of these lads uh, has been second to none since they've come into the football club and it's just rewards for them to, to get that um, you know recognition to earn that accolade. And they kind of nearly grabbing uh, another one just before the end as well. Yeah, obviously they're going for it. They, they've changed the system. They've, they've gone three at the back and they've, they've tried to force the issue, which you'd expect of a quality side at home as well. And obviously they're going to leave um, gaps at the back. And, you know, we had a few moments and a little bit more guile and a little bit more composure in them higher areas. You know, we perhaps could have made the, the final uh, few minutes a little bit more secure for us. But, you know, like I said, they're, they're a good side uh, and I fully expect them to be right up there this year. So for us to come on their patch once again uh, and to go with the three points is uh, you know, a massive result for us.